Lads, 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 lads. All I'm going to say is, thank God they brought out Roy Hibbert. If they didn't bring out Roy Hibbert, I would lose, I've lost my damn mind. Like, I literally would lo- would have lost my damn mind. Because I haven't seen these cards, what they're really about, except for the fact that I know Yao Ming is Zeus. But um, first thing we got today, Lance, is we did get an update to Killian Hayes. Um, and even though, even though Killian Hayes sucked so badly he was that he was six points off getting Evoed, they still felt bad and gave him the Evo anyway. Um, look, he doesn't get, he doesn't really get much better. He's still not great. He's still not great. But um, for Pistons fans out there, you've got yourselves a better card, I guess. Um, where is this here? So now eclipse cards. So the first player we have is Devin Vassell. Six five six ten wingspan. He's got Devin Vassell on normal basic dribble style. Look, that's gonna kind of kill him. Normal two leaner though is good. I'm a huge huge fan of normal two leaner. He's also got himself an eighty nine three ball, ninety perimeter defense, ninety two steal, eighty three block, eighty driving dunk. He's got goal quick first step goal clamp breaker. What does he have? 38 golds? Two halves? Yeah, like, this guy's a really good card. I mean, really good. Like, clamps, glove, interceptor. He doesn't have anchor, but still. He can hold his own. He can definitely hold his own. Like, he's not the best card in the world, but he can most definitely hold his own out there. He's solid, man. Devin Vassell is a solid, solid player. He's not bad. And I'm looking forward to Wesley Person. Because he's never been on my team before, as far as I'm aware. He might have been like 2K13 or 14 or something. But he hasn't been in um, a modern my team. So for that reason, he's going to be a beast, I reckon. 6669 wingspan. He's got 88 speed, 80 acceleration, 96 three ball. Good defense. Half range, half agent three. Um, All the shooting badges. 85 driving dunk. He's got Clamp Breaker, Quick First Step, Clamps, Glove, Interceptor, Can't Get Anchor, Can't Get Menace, Can't Get Challenger, but he's okay. Miles Bridges, Mikhail Bridges, sorry. Oh, wow. Like, that's a really good base. Oscar Robertson Upper is the best upper in the game on Quick. Normal Leaner, which got, means you have the Quick Normal Leaner. Dane Behind the Back, Jordan Dribble Style. Sure, he only has the basic escape, which stops him from being absolutely elite, but he's not a bad card. He's really not a bad card. Like, with that shooting, with those badges, with that dribbling and that release, he's he's like a poor man's Ricky Davis, maybe? Yeah, he's probably like a beginner Ricky Davis. Because, again, if you're not using escapes right, and if you're a beginner player, he's going to give you the same as what Ricky Davis gives you. Um, But we've got Gary Payton the second here, 6'36", 8-wing span. He's got Gary Payton the second on normal. Jordan Dribble style, KD Escape. Kyrie behind the back, which is terrible. Um, wow. He can play D. Yeah, anchor and Glove in Hall of Fame. Every player making by other diamond you can give him on Hall of Fame. Can't get Agent 3, can't get um, Limitless Range. But like, he reminds me a lot of Drew. Like, the pro leaner, he's not going to be offensively great, but he's probably going to be a better catch-and-shoot player than Drew Holiday. No, he's really good. Like, thank God. Thank God we got budget players. Like, thank God we got budget players. He could he could honestly be the better Gary Payton, but thank God we've got budget players this set. Like, all three of these guys are pretty good. Then we have got Roy Hibbert. And insert, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi, save us, Roy Hibbert, your only hope. 67 speed, 67 acceleration, which is just about usable. Just about usable. 72 three ball, though. And br- oh, no. Why is he a Brook Lopez base? Oh, no. Whatever, whatever it is about this release, I have know for a fact. I've shot around with this card. This card is a good release. Like, I hate Lopez base. It's fine on Hibbert. I've shot around plenty with this Roy Hibbert. But he's got like eight, he's a 97 long, 94 interior, great rebounding, half anchor, brick wall, post lockdown. 
he's got to, he's literally he's got to be the one. He's got to be the one to help us on Yao Ming. Like I tweeted out um yesterday, just saying, save us Roy Hibbert or earlier saying, save us Roy Hibbert, you're our only hope. Um, and uh, there's no even responses, which means people are like, nope, this guy's not it. I think he's gonna be fine because he's got that um good lateral quickness, he's got good perimeter, his speed's not terrible, his release is okay, he'll hit from the corners. Um, and he's seven two, to kind of compete with Yao, but if once we see Yao, you'll know why this guy is just that guy. So then we get Tyrese Maxey. Six two, six five wingspan. He's a maxi on normal, tray dribble style, normal leaner, Scotty behind the back, which is terrible this year. Good lateral quickness, okay defense, half clamp breaker, clamps, 90 driving, 93 three ball, go bully, fast switch posterizer, no limitless range, can't get a lot of defensive badges. Mm, he's all right. Maxi's not as good as the mitten. Like, Gary Payton the second is a lot better than Tyrese Maxi. So I will be a lot more hyped by him, but um, he's not a bad card. So then we got Buddy Healed, the free card today. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 96 three ball, um, 80 driving dunk, passable defense, uh, can't get most defensive badges, half hyper drive clamps, or go clamps, go quick first step. At least he's got like half agent threes, half limitless range. Um, I don't know what his release like. Does anyone have to say here? We're going back up in color. I mean, it's Friday. But um, he's got Buddy Heel on quick. Trey dribble style. Kobe escape. Trey behind the back. Buddy Heel leaner, which I don't know what it is. He could be all right. If the Buddy Heel leaner is good, he's going to be a decent card. Nothing spectacular, but he'll be fine. He'll be absolutely fine. Probably not as good as last year's um, Diamond from Christmas because of that, um, he had the defense Evo, but fine. We find any else with Kobe released last year. Then we got Jalen Green, six 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 seven wingspan. Like I, I could have swore he has played point guard a bit in his career. Either way, it doesn't matter. Jalen Green's gonna be fine. I hate his release. I hate his release with a passion. Some people like it. I'm guessing all the comments are gonna be about point guard eligibility. Um, no, not even that. 45 interior is kind of nuts for a card in pretty much February. Half Asian 3 gold and um, limitless range. He would be an offensive demon if his release wasn't so bad. Like, he kind of reminds me of a worse Zach Levine. That's probably the best way I can describe him. Is he's like, stats wise, he looks almost identical to a Zach Levine. He's just not as good because Zach Levine actually has a decent release, a more than usable release. Then we got Odom. I wouldn't be surprised they changed Odom's release because people always just don't like Odom's release. I'm not a fan of it. But stats wise, he doesn't have he's not great. He's he's fine at everything. He doesn't have a standout stat. Does a clamp breaker, does a quick first step. Is he that much better than thorough even stats wise? Okay, so Uzman Uzman Jen can register quick. Okay. Okay, I like um was that what his normal release was? No. It's Chetty Osman, Donovan Mitchell. So he's got Uzman. Camerata's upper um, is unbelievable. Uzman Jang's, from as far as I'm aware, his release is unbelievable. I remember we were hype. Like, I could green with this guy consistently. Obviously, it's three ball. I could green consistently with him, and it was 69. So, yeah. um, That's going to be a ridiculous shooting card. Um, Jordan dribble style. Kyrie escape. Okay, so any players that have absolute bum releases, we can see getting changed. Lamar Odom is very good because they changed him up. He is a very, very good card. Then I'll, I'll go over yeah last. Then we've got Ja Morant. Ja still has Ja on quick. Still all the same animations, but 94 3 1, 98 speed, 90 acceleration. Look, this is as good as they can make a little point guard in the game right now. He has every he can get every key badge. He's got half clamps. Um he's got like Quick first step, killer combos, dimer, clamp breaker, ankle breaker. He can, he's got range. He's got a release on quick. Look, I, he's not going to be my cup of tea because I'm not the greatest with Jamarant. But if you want to make a good Jamarant card, this is the best you can make a Jamarant card this year. It really is. Like, this is a very, very solid set. Then we got Kawhi Leonard. Again, perfect pretty much on defense. 
He's got every defense by Dutton Box at Beast. 93 3 about 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Has Clamp Breaker, Quick Percept. They're just giving Clamp Breaker and Quick Percept to every pink diamond card or pink or opal card at this stage. He's got Limitless Range, Mini Magician, Dead Eye, Bully, Posterizer. He's got Kawhi on Quick, which could be pretty nice. Jordan Dribble style. Honestly, did the last Kawhi have Jordan Dribble style? No, he had normal dribble style. He's now got Jordan dribble style. Still got his escape. No, this is a really good card. His leaner is okay. This is one of like the best 3 and D cards in the game. This is a very, very solid card here is Kawhi Leonard. And then we have Yao Ming. Oh, lads. Oh, lads. They have 80 speed. And a 78 three ball. We, we thought last year's Yao yeah, was good when he had a 73 three ball and 68 speed. They also gave him Hop Anchor, Box of Beast, Brick Wall, Interceptor, Post Lockdown, Rebound Chaser. They gave him Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist. Well, you can't give him range. Who cares? With this rating, who cares? You can give him Clutch Shooter, Blinders. You got. Oh. And he's now got Robert Williams, which is a chick release. And Shea Gills is Alexander Upper. Like, Shea Gills Alexander doesn't even have Shea Gills Alexander Upper. Oh, no. That's what his release was. Oh, dear Lord. This is, that's His release was so good. If you guys shot around with him earlier in the year, you know that that release was unbelievable. And now it's on quick. Now it's on quick. Oh, my God. Thank God. This is the best center by so much. Like, there's no 1A, 1B. There's no zagging because Yao is 80 speed. Yao is the best center. There is a high, there is a tier of centers. Like I'm gonna be making my tier list videos over the weekend. Like all five positions will be sat done over Saturday and Sunday. Yao is gonna be an S tier. No, there's gonna be a Yao tier. For centers, I have to put a Yao tier because he's a tier better than even all the best ones. He's that good. He is that good. So for all these cards here, Vassell really good. Wesley Person absolute beast. This guy's going to be my most fun card of the week. Gary Payton, really good. Maxi, okay. Hibbert's going to be a really solid player because of the fact that a lot of guys are going to be running Yao. Um, Buddy Heald's a nice card. Not brilliant. Jalen Green's not great. Lamar Odom, brilliant. Yao's brilliant. Kawhi's good. Jazz good. Best two players in the set are Odom and Yao. The most relevant player, as in the player you're probably going to see the most, is going to be Odom. And then I would say for budget guys, your guy is going to be Wesley Person. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.